Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is Deep Sky Challenge, Part 1. You can use whatever telescope you want. You can use GoTo or you can search on your own, although I find with <laughs> challenging objects a GoTo helps a lot because you're sure you're on it. But whatever you prefer. And usually for deep sky objects, bigger is better, but with some larger objects, that's not always true. You might want a smaller telescope or a richest field telescope. But for our first object, <laughs> bigger is better. And for all of them, darkest skies possible. We're going to be looking at NGC 4038 and 4039, the antenna galaxies, Caldwell 60 and 61. This pair of interacting galaxies requires an 8 inch or larger telescope in dark skies. The galaxies are magnitude 11 and 45 million light years away. With a 10 inch telescope, the pair of galaxies is quite striking. Increase your magnification to get a better look at this wonderful pair. Let's have a look. And the antenna galaxies are just three and a half degrees southwest from Gamma Corvi, which is this star here. So just go three and a half degrees southwest to look for the antenna galaxy. Magnitude 11, so pretty challenging. Um, I have it in the 80 millimeter refractor, and I've got the 26 millimeter eyepiece in here, and I cannot see anything. All right, now let's see if I can see it in my 203 millimeter telescope. Okay, I've got NGC 4038 in here with a 24 millimeter eyepiece. That's about 86 time magnification. And it's tough to see, it's faint, but I can see it. It's very faint, but I can see it. Okay, I've located the antenna or ring tail galaxies in GC 4038 and 4039. <laughs> Pretty neat. I located it with my 10 inch Dobsonian. And it looks like a, kind of a V shape where the galaxies collide and kind of like a puff ball is V shaped. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Now I'm going to increase the magnification and look at it for a while. Now I'm looking at it with Artemis, my 12 inch Meade Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. It's a go to telescope, but it's actually pretty easy to find because it makes an isosceles triangle with gamma corvi and epsilon corvi. So pretty easy to find, but it looks really cool in this big telescope. I started with 36 millimeter eyepiece, but I'm going to put in this 7 millimeter Nagler and get a better look. Okay, for this object, the higher magnification didn't help. I uh, liked it best at a lower magnification, uh, I think 85 times. It looked pretty darn good. Well, that's a very cool object. It's subtle, 
So if you know what to look for, it's pretty easy to find if you use the isosceles triangle method. <laughs> and so I hope you got to see that. And that's it for part one of the Deep Sky Challenge series. Let me know if you enjoyed this and I'll make some more. Or if you prefer that I go back to more basic targets and more basic astronomy, let me know and I can do that too. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see y'all soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.